it is and it isn't. That is a statement frequently heard from Tony Parsons. And then the mind turns around and tells us that is impossible. Either something is or it isn't. Now, the statement is not done from um, a perspective that, um, you know, I just want to confuse people. It's, uh, it comes from a realization that is perhaps more palatable and close and, in a way, concrete than a simple statement that says it is or another statement that says it isn't. So, where does it come from, this statement? It comes from the realization that whatever appears, whatever is sensed, whatever is perceived, disappears as quickly as it comes. So, the appearance and the disappearance are simultaneous. It is shorter, that moment, than the shortest unit of time. It just comes and goes straight away. So can you say that something like this is or would you rather say it isn't? I'd say it isn't. It's closer than to say it is. But we can't deny that appearances are happening all day long and in the dream world. So we can't say that appearances don't happen. Therefore, let's say, appearances are happening, it is happening, and perhaps we could say, it is. Another way to explain the is, is if we look at the fact that the boundless is, the timeless is, because it is not subject to coming and going. And although from a point of um, yeah, from a point of the relative, if you want to call it that, the boundless is nothing. One would say that from realizing boundlessness or nothingness as being the substance of everything, that therefore everything has to be and therefore everything is. So the statement of Tony gets another dimension if we understand it that way. Thanks.